Well, if you clicked on this video and you are familiar with this area, that's great. We're only 50 meters from Siam Square. If you've clicked on this video and you don't know this area and you're gonna give the video 30 seconds before clicking the back button, hang on just a second. The chances are you've been here, hung out here, ate here, drank here, stayed in one of the hotels here, or if you're over 50, probably went on a first date at one of the old cinemas that used to be here. Ratchet TV is buzzing in its own little way, particularly around the SkyTrain station. So a bit of local history for you now. This graffiti park in the 60s was a car dealership. And as you can see from this old photo, the building next to it with its particularly unique concrete design, you can still see part of it down the side. And then it was after that, that one of the three old cinemas along here used to be, that was the McKenna Theater. That was built in the early 1960s and demolished in 2004. I remember the demolition because it made one hell of a noise. In the 60s, a lot of independent cinemas popped up around Bangkok. It was a very popular pastime. And they got put out of business round about as the 90s came about with the air-conditioned malls and cinemas with comfortable seats. But just behind me, this is Hollywood Street. And from what I've read online, there used to be the Hollywood Cinema. Now, judging by the age of Hollywood Street, I'm thinking maybe this Hollywood Cinema is the same building and they just converted it. Well, if my research has served me correctly, the old President Theatre was about here. And this was a very popular big cinema. They used to hold a lot of premieres there. And if you look at this old photo taken from a window in a building across the road, you'll see what I mean about the size of the President Theatre. This corner here of Petrobury Road and Piatai Road was cleared years ago and you always felt like something was about to begin construction but nothing ever materialised until now. So I'm expecting a mall or a condo or both and the entrance of course to the brand new MRT Orange Line station at Ratatibi which is going to commence construction I would say in about three or four years time. Well, you know me, local history, got to be told, Ratcha TV intersection. Well, Sapan Ratcha TV was the name of a bridge that went over a canal running alongside Petrobury Road. And that bridge was built to celebrate the 50th birthday of Queen Sukuman Marasi. She was a royal consort of King Rama VI. So we're talking about 100 years ago. That canal, of course, has been filled in when they widened Petrobury Road. This area was later known as Rapture TV Circle and I assumed it was because of the fountain but I've just counted four fountains but in the old days there was probably one fountain as this old photo shows so when they expanded the intersection they dropped the circle and named it Rapture TV Intersection which makes sense really.
Well, I must say the Asia Hotel is looking very slick these days. I haven't been in the lobby since 2004 and it's clearly been refurbished, obviously, since then. It's been a landmark in the area since 1964 when it opened and you may have noticed the very large spirit house outside the front. A lot of people say it's there for a very good reason because there are rumours that the hotel is haunted. Back in the day, the Asia Hotel was known for being a bit ropey. The reception in particular was always described as a bit musty, gloomy and dated. But obviously since the refurbishment, it looks nothing like that. But I was also looking into the rumours about the hauntings and a lot of those haunting stories came about at least 15 years ago. So maybe the place has had an exorcism since then because I couldn't find any recent stories at all. Anyway, some of the stories said things like people felt like they were being watched in their rooms. People felt like they were being touched as they slept. One lady said she woke up in the night to see two figures sitting on her sofa in the room looking at her and then she rubbed her eyes, took a second look and they'd completely vanished. Other stories include sobbing and crying being heard in bathrooms and some staff even reported hearing noises and cries coming from rooms that were unoccupied. So whether that's true or not, I know everyone loves a good ghost story, but please don't let that put you off the Asia Hotel because it's looking pretty slick these days. The name Hua Chang came about because of the four sculptures of elephants' heads at each corner of the bridge. But when it was opened in 1909, it was a lot smaller. And its official name is actually Sapan Chalom La Hasip Hok. In the 1970s, it was completely rebuilt when Piatai Road was widened. And it was then registered as an ancient monument by the Fine Arts Department. So we're going to take a walk down Soi Sapan Hua Chang. But first, I just remembered that when I was at the graffiti park earlier on this afternoon, I didn't take any photos. So this might be a good test to see just how good this camera is at taking photos in the dark. Well, it's a familiar story, the desecration of old Bangkok neighbourhoods, a stone's throw from Siam Square, and it looks like a condo is being built, and the residents of Soi Sapan Hua Chang are seeing their neighbourhood being dismantled right before their very eyes, and this land behind me is probably going to be developed in exactly the same way, so it remains to be seen what this area is going to look like in, say, one year's time.
This is Hollywood Street and about 20 years ago there used to be a couple of dance record shops still here. Those are long gone and all that's left now are a few music shops, the rock pub and a hair salon. Apart from that it looks pretty ominous the future for Hollywood Street and I suppose it's going to be a matter of time. Once the sun goes down in Ratchet TV, there are numerous choices for eating, drinking and hanging out. And we're going to start right here at the Coco Walk. So there's a few nightlife ideas for you in the Ratcha TV area once the sun goes down. If you want a few more eating options, you can walk a couple of hundred meters towards the Siam Square area. A lot more to be had around there. As for an evening stroll with a bit of peace and quiet, that's only really possible along the canal, the Klong San Seb. I want to see some local life around Ratcha TV, so we're going to head down Soy Pianak, see what we can find, see where it goes. I took a detour down Petrobury Soy 12 and this is buzzing this area with local life. I really like it, plus lots of 1960s architecture that you know I really like. Finally found the Klong San Seb Canal, being careful not to trip over lots of cats lying around as well, including that kitten back there. Anyway, I found myself around the corner from Jim Thompson's house and at 200 bar entry, I thought I'd give the museum a miss, but I would have only had 20 minutes in there because it's just about to close. The restaurant part is open, but you might need a bit of open wallet surgery to get a glass of water in there, so again, Give that a miss as well but i am planning a jim thompson video his life was shrouded in secrecy and controversy as well i've got a bit of juicy gossip to tell you in that video during his time at the oriental hotel that's just a clue so uh, stand by for that video coming pretty soon i would think anyway this canal community here one of the food stall guys told me that a couple of kids i called jim after jim thompson's house so uh, Pretty interesting that.
Well, that just about wraps things up here in Ratcha TV, and it goes to show there's a lot more around here than you think, as well as some pretty decent nightlife options as well. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you want to support the channel and buy me a coffee, that'd be fantastic, or you can join the channel and become a member. That just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching, and until the next video, I will see you soon. Thank you.